two of Emerald Nuzlocke Roulette. In the last episode, we got our starter, which is Michiru, the Snorunt female timid nature. Awesome, awesome nature. Um, definitely the best nature I think we could have gotten, since I'm pretty sure Glalie gets crunch and stuff, and crunch is special in this gym. So, I guess we'll talk to some people, what do they say? Ah, yes, the wireless club, the thing that I can never get working right in VBA. Uh, you see that, uh, I guess we can go ahead and do, uh, we'll probably do the same thing that, uh, we usually do in Nuzlocke that I do. Um, we'll make box 14. That's some nice... Oh, let's make, uh, make it a river. And we'll name it... Sanzu. Those of you who are well-versed in Japanese lore will understand why it is... Sanzu and why it is a river. And, uh... What will we name this? I guess we'll just name it... Nuzu for the moment. I always like to name boxes. That started in... Is this the first gem where you can start, start that? I mean, it's apparently captured the screen. Um... I'm not sure. I think this may be the first gem where you can name boxes. I know, uh, GSC had where you could move stuff around. Uh, move Pokemon without mail, because for some reason, uh, mail... Well, in GSC, mail was actually pretty good. Because you could actually, you know, type stuff besides camp phrases. But anyway... Um, so I guess we'll get another level on Michiru before we go off and fight the rival. Um, because we're going to be doing a not very effective Powder Snow. Although at least it will be stabbed. And working off, uh... Well, I guess the special attack's going to be higher since we're Tim and Dan And how fast can we get the speed up button? Okay, we can actually get up to 400 times, or 400%, uh, if I want to. But, uh, as some of you guys know who watch some of the other LPs, uh, and who... Uh, Endure Cooper streaming and stuff on Zat. Um, Cooper's laptop sucks and overheats constantly, so hopefully that won't be an issue. It certainly could be though. Um, just doing uh, so far already um, through one part I've seen that uh, keeping the laptop on power saver. Ooh, look at that! Another freeze hacks. So good, Maria. So good. Um, <laughs> super effective though, so I don't think it went down anything to, to me. Um, but yeah, guys, it's gonna be too okay anyway. But, um, anyway, it's just funny. Um, yeah, so, maybe, um, having the benefit of the ice type here will help out. And I do have a- Ooh, double team! <laughs> what?! Wow, I did not know that Snowrunt got double team by level at level 7. Are you serious? Wow, so we're gonna be able to break evasion claws in this LP for sure. Um, I definitely, probably am gonna use that in, uh, this LP rival fight here. Um, looks like we're getting, we, we are getting a fair, like, variance of guys. No, we're peeing guys yet, so maybe that's good. And, uh, I have, uh, patched this a couple times previously, and, like, tested it out and, like, checked different starters and stuff. And, uh, always I would, like, always encounter, like, some of the same guys in the route. Like, I think I said last episode, multiple Charmeleons, or, like, I would only encounter, like, four different guys each time I came on the route, something like that. So I don't know exactly how this thing works. Like, here, see, there's another Weedle. Like, what are the chances of, out of 386 guys, you know, encountering a Weevil twice in, like, four battles? Well, probably not that high, so just... I guess we'll just also show off a little bit of the variance of the routes here, so you guys see it's not, like, 100% variable. Um, I don't... I'm not sure, uh, I don't really do any ROM hacking, so I'm not sure how the, uh, how the stuff works. See, here's another Weedle. So there's def it's definitely not, like, 100%, like, super, uh... Super variable. Um, I don't know if it's like different, like every time you enter the route, um, it changes to a different, like a sort of guys or what happens in all crap which You gotta watch out for that. Um, we definitely don't want to get poisoned. Um, I should probably go buy some antidotes. Kind of, so I'm guessing that Weedle, since it appeared three times, was replacing, uh, not Pachirisu, uh, Puch Puchina. Um, and we still don't have running shoes. We don't get running shoes until Rust Borrow, I think? I think so. So, let's get, uh, let's get two antidotes, let's get, or three antidotes. Let's make sure we don't make the same mistake the, uh, that was made in the original Nuzlocke. Um, not having any antidotes and letting the Beautifly die. I actually just reread that um, today as inspiration, I guess. Uh, the original Ruby hard mode. So, um, I guess we can go up here. 
Ichiro only took like three or so points of damage, so. What person you gotta talk to? Should've bought a potion, we just bought a potion. Oh, I knew I didn't go get a potion from. Oh, wait, actually, the, the guy you get the potion from is in Old Ale Town. I think it's this guy. The guy with the apron, there we go. I believe, we, I believe you get a free potion from this guy. I'm sure, um. My buddy Andrew at uh, TPX who likes to do uh, no Pokemon Center, no Pokemon Marts runs of uh, Pokemon games. He's already done a couple, so uh, we'll, we'll link him in the description. We'll plug his channel. Um, he likes to do those. I'm sure that will be a potion that will be greatly appreciated uh, for him. So here's a, a Kanga. Again, we don't have balls yet, so uh, I'm not counting these toward the, uh, toward the uh, whatever. What this thing learns. Weird. I'm actually slightly afraid of this thing. See, that's the thing, like, you could have happened upon, like, some fully evolved guy who completely hit you. So, um, I'm not sure if good. I think it will be pretty important to have, like, one guy who's kind of like an ace guy you can send in and, uh, be pretty okay um, against a lot of different stuff. Um, I kind of hesitate for that to be an ice type since, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of weaknesses there. Did that, just, did that just gain two attack despite being timid nature and one and everything else? I think it did. Um, anyway, now that it's gained a level, I guess we'll go heal up. Because I definitely want full HP. I'm honestly more concerned about wild fights than I am trainer fights. Um, since, since we don't know what we're going to be facing in the wild. Like, heaven forbid we have to face a wob. <laughs> that would be so bad. So bad. I don't know if there's gonna be any uh, grinding sessions. There might be to some extent, but uh, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, due to aforementioned laptop overheating deals, um, I don't think we'll be doing too much speed up. So it'll probably be something similar where I do post production on it and uh, play, perhaps play some unfitting music. Um, so we have level eight with Chiru is going to go up against Torchic. I'm pretty sure. So it's a Trico slot. This is actually some of my favorite rival music. And yep, he's got Torchic, so it's just like the anime. Male Torchic. <laughs> um, we're gonna double team. So we're gonna get some, uh, some evasion hacks going on. And as long as uh, it misses one scratch, uh, that means double team has done its job. Oh, at least one turn. And wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, we may want to blink tank a little bit more. Um, double team more. Wow, that powder snow is doing nothing. Um, can we freeze fire types? I think you can freeze fire types. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can freeze fire types. Um, because otherwise, why would camera up that magma on it? Um, you know. So scratch mist. Yeah, we want to be blink. I'm glad we bought some potions. Because it looks like we may need them. I'm also glad we went and got up to level 8. Um, I think our scratches are doing about 3 damage, so a crit should deal 6. So crit should deal six. If we get the seven HP, I'll probably potion. Uh, we don't want a game over already. I like this start. I like having a nice type as our starter. And uh, we could hopefully we'll get a freeze hacks too. So double team proving its worth already in this game. Proving why it's, it's it is the band. Come on, freeze. I really want to get a freeze on this thing. So yeah, doing a consistent amount of three damage. So we're gonna make sure we keep above six damage now. And I believe Torchic has Growl, not Leer or anything like that, so um, which is why it's not going for that. Because uh, obviously we're not using physical attack, we're using special attack right now. Um, looks like we're gonna be out. We're gonna be able to get out of this without a potion, looks like. Oh, there's the crit though, and that did actually did 7 damage, so. Now, fortunately, there's no um, 1 over 2 to 6 chance that we missed this power snow, otherwise, I probably would have healed. If this had been first gen, I would have healed. Like, because I just know it would have hit through all the double teams and then got a crit too. Um, no free attacks, but uh, we were able to blink tank enough to uh, get through that. So that was actually a pretty tough rival fight. Despite uh, not having the heal or anything on it. And considering we were three levels ahead. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Tackle typically does a little bit more than that Powder Snow was doing. Alright, uh, let's definitely get healed up. Are we actually healed? I'm, I'm not sure. Whatever. We'll go ahead and heal up. 
Um, we definitely want to try to catch at least the first uh, guy or two today. And I'm not sure if we'll go ahead and get a Route 102 guy or not. Um, because it's possible to get one of those later once we get Surf. Um, one thing I'm not really sure about, I know that in the Soul Silver um, Nuzroulette codes and stuff like that, um, it like doesn't work for water guys, like for, like surfing over water and stuff guys. Um, it changes their level to be random instead of the what guy it is, so you can pop up like level 100 guys over water <laughs> um, or something like that. And some sort of bug in it. I'm not sure about this though, so I guess that's something we're gonna have to see. So we get a Pokedex, and uh, um, I'm actually not sure how it works with this. Um, I think if you do one of the other sub, like if you do the global one-to-one -one substitution, I think that the Pokedex actually kind of like corrects itself in one way or the other. Sure. Like, so, see, we've already seen Zepta. <laughs> like, so, for example, Zigzagoon. Um. Hmm. Uh. Guys, I'm pretty sure Zigzagoon does not appear in caves. <laughs> um, so that's definitely, like, a little bit wonky. Uh, Maku. Oh, yeah, we saw Makuhita previously. Oh, freaking weird. Um, I'm gonna assume- I'm just gonna, gonna not rely on the Pokedex whatsoever. Um, I, I believe it might be more reliable if you do uh, the global one-to-one, -one, or maybe even the area-specific one-to-one. Um, where do we get running shoes here? At least we get running shoes here. Yes, 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 okay, good. That was uh, Fire and Leaf Green that I was thinking of after the first gym. That's the game where after the first gym you get running shoes. This game, since it's uh, Hoenn was the first region where we had running shoes, they wanted to give them to you pretty early. So it's good, good, good. Now we can run, run, run. And we have... Oh yeah, we put our Pokeballs up top. Good. And we are fully healed. I guess we'll save. Even though there's no, like, resetting really allowed in Nuzlocke, so I don't know why it's important to save. Actually, it's probably a bad idea to save, because what if the file gets, like, complete. Um, hopefully that never happens. Okay, let's see who we get for Route 101. It is gonna be... a Relicant. Last time I saw a Relicant on, a uh, emulated and rolled it to shiny. Um, so... Let's double team first, see what it wants to do. Applying with the thing as AI. Um, I don't want it to do, like, a... Okay, a I didn't want it to do, like... Well, it's not gonna do a head smash. Um, Okay, this is good because this is something that, uh, something that's not going to get totally owned by Patterson. So, Apple, Powder Snow, we should be able to Powder Snow it one more time. Um, although, I feel like has a really low hatch rate though. Um, we may have, we may have missed this guy actually. Um, hang on, I'm going to go check Relicant's hatch rate. Yeah, Relic Relicant has a uh, 25 catch rate, <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I mean, we, I, I guess we're not limited necessarily on Pokeballs, but, um, at the same time, like, I don't know how much of a benefit this thing's gonna be. Um, it would actually be hilarious if we later got a Waylord, but, uh, I'm definitely gonna try to get him down to red. If I crit him and kill him, I don't really care too much. He's in the red. Oh, and a freeze! Please let that freeze stick. Please let that freeze stick. Oh, man. Maria! Throw those balls. Throw those balls. Come on. Freeze is just like sleep. It helps out the catch rate tremendously. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep throwing balls until it uh, thaws out. Bar the Master Ball, of course, which, uh, as I mentioned last video, is only, only for shinies. I'm not allowed to use it unless the shiny pops up. And, okay, it defrosted. All right, well that was freaking cool. Um, at, le at least it at least gave me a chance. Um, if, I, if, I, if I can't catch it with while it's frozen like that, if it's gonna pop out immediately while it's frozen, yeah, I'm not gonna waste my last three balls. Because there is no versus seeker in this game, so uh, money is kind of not infinite. So, I mean, we should have plenty of balls anyway, but, um, 
So Route 101, we don't get a guy because we randomly ran into a guy who's got a ridiculously low catch rate. So oh well. Um, at least we got to do some excitement there with some free shenanigans. That was pretty cool. No pun intended. So I guess that means we both go ahead and get a Route 102 guy to make up for the lack of a Route 101 guy. I guess we'll go ahead and heal up. I want to keep as much HP as possible. You never know when we're going to get... Um... Another thing, too, is that it's probably going to be important to get as many guys as possible. Because you never know when we're going to end up like running up against someone who's like, Oh crap, what did what can this do? And there may, we may want to get like fodder guys, as cruel as that ordinarily is. Um, should be able to. Yep, yeah, we can buy Pokeballs now. Let's buy, um... I kind of want to buy 10 so we can get a Premier Ball. Let's buy 10 so we can get a Premier Ball. Ordinarily, I probably wouldn't buy that many, but I want the Premier Ball, so... And, and also, who knows how many balls we're going to have to throw to catch some of these guys, so... Route 103, let's see what we can get here. Really? Are you... Really, game? Really? <laughs> Magikarp! Magikarp appeared in the grass. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be two at KO. Um <laughs> I mean Gara well Gara would be sweet, but it's not gonna be that great in third since you know, it's not gonna take advantage of stuff. And we just end up kill it, so that's just great. Um, the first two guys were already were already dead. Um while we're at it, let's go ahead and get Maria up to level 9. <laughs> Gorbis. Now that that would be a, a guy I would want. Um, Gorbis would be nice. Um, I'm sure I'm this out. I want it easier to kill. Okay, so we... That's actually also funny that we've encountered like three like deep sea type Pokemon so far. And then another water type. The game wants me to have a water type really, really bad. Really want to kill Give me something that I can kill in like one hit with uh, Powder Snow. Give me something that doesn't resist ice, please. Like that. That doesn't resist ice. Oh, does that have Destiny Bond? The better not have Destiny Bond. Um, the good thing about this is that uh, unlike the White Nuzlocke or Nuzlocke thing, um, okay, it's got curse, so it's gonna kill itself. Um, Whereas uh, that LP, had, if I had game over that, uh, that was going to be it. The LP would not have been restarted. Um, if I do like game over this really early, um, I will restart it. Some nice even gains. Good, good, good. Okay, one more guy here. So we're 0 for 2 on catching guys successfully. And as you can see, here's another magic card, which is why I say the, the stuff is like not working properly. And that's not worth my time to even look at it. Um, so we're gonna attempt to catch a guy on Route 102. We're having a fall, right? Okay, at this point, we really need to get somebody because we got what Petalburg Woods and yeah, we got a couple of areas before Roxanne. Okay, Murkrow. Except this sucks because uh, the only move I have is super effective to it. Um, Crap. <laughs> uh, let me check Murkrow's catch rate. Alright, sorry guys. Um, someone forgot to unclick pause. Um, so what happened was uh, Murkrow's catch rate was like 30 or so. And uh, I decided, okay, I got a Powder Snow to even get a chance. And of course it one shot it as I expected. So um, whatever, we missed some commentary there. Nothing really too crazy happened. Uh, took out one of the youngsters with Machina. Uh, that catches us back up, so unfortunately I, I noticed that the little uh, green things weren't flashing, I was like, why aren't they flashing? Was it recording? And it wasn't, so that's all you guys missed, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, except, well, except for, well, I guess kill it, whatever. Anyway, so we have no gut, we have no one except for Maria. And uh, our next chance, I think, will be left of Petalburg. I think we can technically get guys in Petalburg, but not until we have Sword from the God. So, because I know there's some water there. So we might try that later. Once we have access to, um, to something. Um, I'm not sure if Old Rod... Old Rod... Freaking magic card. Um, I'm not sure if Old Rod 
You know, I probably should have tried to catch that magic card regardless uh, for Death Potter at this point, but anyway. At least, like, lob the ball when it was in half HP. But uh, it looked like it was going to be a 2 uh, a 3 hit KO when it wasn't, so. Anyway, um. More wild battles. And we're probably just going to get. Ooh, Dusclops. Dusclops. We already found a uh, Banette in the previous round. Yeah, I guess this is going toward the, the theme of, uh. I mentioned a little bit earlier about having one guy who's kind of like super high level and he's he takes some take on whatever. Um, looks like that's gonna have to be Maria <laughs> right now, anyway. Since she's our only character we have control of. Ooh, and Maria learned bite. Maria learned bite. Om nom nom nom. So let me get some berries. And we may want to equip those actually. I don't think we're going to be doing any berry growing just because of the, um, like how quickly I'm going to try to complete this LP. Um, and I, I, we'll, we'll save them for right now. Okay, another, another trainer on our way to Petalburg, and I guess we'll probably end once we get to Petalburg and try our luck next episode. I'm getting more, I'm trying to catch some guys instead of kill them. I like the Snowrunt Leaf, I like the Snowrunt Starter, it's pretty good, it's solid. It's uh, something that can, you know, level up and grow along with us instead of already having like, a set pile or something. And here's something that's weak to Power Snow. And yeah, hopefully we'll just encounter something next, next uh, episode that we won't one-shot and that we can actually, you know, use. So, or that we can actually throw a ball and catch and have it. Um, there's one more lass here. Um, I'm actually going to dodge her and save her for next video. After we kill another Murkrow. Here, here here's what happened um, that you guys missed out on. Murkrow appeared, I, I paused the recording, checked its catch rate, said, yeah, I can't catch it at full HP, it's got a catch rate of 30. And uh, Powder snowed it, and it died. It did not have really a critical hit, <laughs> but it, it got it got critted that right. So sure as you're right, we're getting super luck in for it. So, all right, so that brings us to Petalburg City, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's some water here. So later on in the game, we can uh, we can get maybe get a guy here. And does this fat dude teach you something? I'm not sure. That will you teach me something? No. I think I think I think I'm thinking of the. Uh, the guy in Mauville who teaches you to roll out. But anyway, so that's going to end it for part two. And hopefully in part three next time we will catch some, actually catch some guys successfully. Later days.